been described as the space-based version of Neighbourhood Watch. The US has sent two military satellites into orbit to get a greater insight into other countries' activities there. Let's discuss this with investigative journalist Tony Gosling, who joins me now. Welcome, Tony. Um, I can understand this to an extent. Washington wants to keep tabs on other countries' spacecraft. What I don't understand is why. Well, uh, I think the other thing is we need to have a look at exactly what these uh, satellites are really up to. Ostensibly, we're being told that they're there to keep an eye on space, other satellites. Uh, clearly, this is ramping up the satellite wars, uh, you know, in parallel, really, with the technology that's being used by, uh, by mostly Britain, the US and Israel in drone technology. So there seems to be infinite amounts of cash for these kinds of projects. And yet, right now in Detroit, thousands of people are without water. I think what we're seeing here is the American empire, a kind of dying empire really in its terminal phase because what they're doing is they're spending massive amounts of money on these military projects but they're not actually looking after their own people. And what it does suggest is that, that the government in the US particularly is actually completely divorced from the needs, basic needs of the general population. But whatever you, you know, these, these satellites are doing there, we're not entirely sure, whatever they're doing it represents something much worse which is a, a complete misdirection of public funds into ramping up the arms race at a very time when we shouldn't be doing that at all. I just wonder, do you think it might have anything to do with, um, well, the fact that they will be operating in an area that houses much of the world's communication satellites? Do you think there's any connection there? Well, they may be trying to uh, you know, actively intervene with other satellites rather than just be watching them, keeping an eye on them. Another indication here is many people have asked how much these satellites are costing. Now, do you know they're not even going to tell anyone how much they cost? Because, of course, that's a very embarrassing thing to know. Again, an indication of a lack of accountability and a lack of democracy. Uh, the other thing is, another thing is the launch has been conducted by private businesses. It's not done by NASA anymore, this these launches. So let's remember, the military industrial complex, uh, the securocrats are making an absolute fortune out of these spy satellites. And, you know, this is all against a backdrop of a situation this week where we've got genocide going on still today uh, in Gaza, uh, and yet, uh, and yet the talk of sanctions against Russia. We're actually actively in the West helping the Israelis. Uh, so there seems to be a completely twisted uh, point of view and a disconnection uh, amongst our leadership in the EU and in the US uh, with the ordinary people and this is just another example of it they seem to be spending money on these kind of paranoid projects uh, and also the reason we don't really know enough details about what these satellites are doing even though they're extremely expensive is because we have a dearth of investigative journalism over the last 20 years in certainly here in Britain I and mean, when we had uh, TV programs radio programs things like uh, World in Action this week uh, the Cook Report uh, many many first Tuesday many of these series that would have been telling us a little bit about maybe the background to these high-tech projects that the public aren't being told those have all been written off and those that are left like dispatches and and panorama are virtually neutered doing safe subjects. I mean one of the recent panoramas for example was about prison conditions in the US. Here in Britain we want to know about prison conditions here which are appalling uh, and uh, there's a lot of controversy there but they don't seem to like to really criticize the government. They're becoming more like uh, really just uh, kind of state approved information services uh, and that's what we want we need to challenge. We need more investigative journalism so we can know exactly what these satellites are really doing there but the priority is should be looking after the people and this is when I come back to Detroit. People aren't getting water in Detroit. Let's prioritise that over these kind of high-tech projects which are just really feathering the nest of the military-industrial complex. OK, we're speaking to uh, investigative journalist Tony Gosling. Thanks so much for joining us.